Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to create a basic Lambda function using Python. To begin, let's type Lambda in the search bar on our AWS console, and then we'll select Lambda to go into the Lambda dashboard. Next, we'll select create a function. And we're going to create our function from scratch for this demo. So we'll give it a name and I'll call it my first function. And we'll select the runtime. I'm going to select Python 3.7. And we can either use an existing IAM row for our permissions. We can create a new row from an AWS policy template, or we can let Lambda create a new row with basic Lambda permissions for us. We're going to leave it at the default and let AWS Lambda create a new row for us, because this is a very basic Python example. So we'll create function and the function will create itself. And now we're in the configuration screen. So we can scroll down to code and I'm going to erase some of this default code that AWS provides because we're going to create our own Lambda code. Now we need to leave the handler there, as you can see with the event and context objects. And I'm going to create a Python script that says if event name equals old cloud. return successful. So it's a basic script that will take key value pairs that we'll see in just a minute. And if the name equals cold cloud, then it'll return a result of successful. I'm going to deploy this and save the script. And then I'm going to go into test. I'm going to create a new test event. I'm going to call it code cloud test. And here for template, I can erase most of these keys. I only need one to test. I'm going to name, rename that key name because that's the event our Lambda function is looking for. And I'm going to give it a value of code file. I'm going to save that. And now I can run my test. We see here that the test was successful. The Lambda function successfully ran. We can expand more details about your function, such as the duration that it ran, what the billing duration would be, the amount of memory that was used, and other details. I'll close this, and I'll go back to my code, and we see the execution results. And we can see that it returned a response of successful. So my function worked successfully. Now, as a test, I'll go back to my test event and I'll create a new event here. And I'll call this one other, just to see what happens if we provide the wrong input. 
And instead of cold cloud, I'm going to put a name of other and save this and rerun my test. Execution was successful. Function ran correctly. If I go to code, I see now I have a response of no. So my Lambda function ran successfully and responded as expected. Okay, so that was a basic demonstration of how to create a Lambda function using Python code from scratch. In this demo, we covered creating the function, editing the code, and testing the function. Please join me in our next video where we'll cover more advanced Lambda configurations using an event source trigger. Thank you.